Alrighty, gang, it's Reddit time! Which means I had to go brew a cup of tea because... I enjoy having tea before I scream at Reddit because the honey helps my throat. And that's way more pleasant than just drizzling honey down my neck. I found a spicy one to start with, I think. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh, that title is right. I saw this one and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no upvotes, we going. Am I the asshole for not saying I love you to my 14-year-old stepdaughter? All names have been changed, yada yada yada. I, male 60, don't say I love you to my 14 female stepdaughter, Alice. I met her mother when she was 4 and her mother was 34. She doesn't have any connections to her biological dad because he was an alcoholic and drug addict, so I've raised Alice ever since. When she was a child, she could always go to her mom for... Ah, uh, sorry. When she was a child, she could... No, I did read that right. When I when she was a child, she could always go to her mom first and say I love you and goodnight, and then she would come to me and do the same. When Alice was a child, I would say I love you, but when she turned 12, I stopped. This is how it goes when she says goodnight. Alice. Goodnight, my name. I love you. Me. Night, Allie. Alice frowns and walks away. Oh my god, dude. She looks hurt when she doesn't hear me say I love you back. My wife, 44 Sally, has started to notice this. She doesn't always say anything, but when she sees Alice's frown, she turns to me and gives me the death stare. Me and Sally get along well, but on with only the occasional fight, but she started calling me an asshole when we get to bed. It doesn't turn into a fight, but just a short bicker. I feel like because Alice is 14, it's different because she's not my biological daughter. I feel torn on this because on one hand, she's not my real daughter like my other three kids. But I did raise her and she sees me as her father. What do I do? Do I stand my ground with my wife or start saying I love you? TLDR, I don't say I love you to my 14-year-old daughter because she's too old for that. You're insane. Man. Man. <laughs> just heard, I just heard Haley scream die from the other room. You are never too old for I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to need you to get, get in real close here. Let's let's chat, okay? Okay, gang. Um, your children are never too old for you to love them. I need, I need you to understand that. Your children are are never too old for you to love them. And I feel like I'm going insane that I have to explain that to someone. Like, what? Also, like, really telling, this line right here, on one hand, she's not my real daughter. Dude, you've raised her for 10 years. You've raised her since she was a toddler. I hate to tell you this, dude, but for better or for worse, and trust me, for her, probably better if she didn't have a father at all. But for better or for worse, you are that girl's father. You know that child that you're talking about where you're like, well, it's too, it's too old for me to love it. Ugh, disgusting. That didn't even come from my balls. How am I supposed to love that? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, of course you're the asshole. Of course you're the asshole. I feel like I don't even need to go into it any deeper than that. Let's, let's see if Reddit agrees. I think this is an interesting, going to be an interesting one because zero upvotes. 
Also, the favoritism shown to the other three kids, too. Yeah, that's disgusting. I don't care that your other three kids shot out of your dick, dude. Like, how dare you? How dare you, honestly? With everything about this post. Everything about this post. I'm pretty sure this is rage-based. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what? I'm pretty sure this is rage-bait, but in the instant instance, it's not you're the asshole. I'm just moving past that one. You've been in her life since she was a young child, and I assume your wife wouldn't have married you if she knew you were hell-bent on treating her daughter differently than your own children. I can't be bothered with writing anymore because it's most probably rage, rage bait. Yeah, that's always... That's always a possibility. Um, this... This could just be rage bait. Info, do you love that child, yes or no? When she turned 12, I stopped. I just feel like because Alice is 14, it's different because she's not my biological daughter because she's too old for that. That's your reason for stopping? Your inability to understand that fatherly love for a girl who's not related to you by blood is not creepy? She's not too old in that. She's not too old for that. Case in point, she's hurt when you don't say it. Yeah. Yeah. What a cruel man you are. Your stepdaughter probably believes she did something wrong and made the only father she ever knew stop loving her. Bet you still tell your real children that you love them, despite them being too old. You're the asshole. Turns out she would be right, considering you say in the comment that you stop saying it because you don't get along anymore. Oh, no. Guess unconditional love is a foreign is foreign to you. At least when it comes to stepchildren, because I doubt you stop telling your real children that you love them when you they were argumentative teenagers. Yeah, and this is something I see a lot. This is something I see a lot in Reddit posts, specifically from step parents. Um, the children, their stepchildren get to like their teen years, and they're like, um, I was all about having stepchildren when it was like. We'd play and watch cartoons, and then, like, when they got fussy, I'd give them to their mother. But now they're, like, mean to me and shit. And, like, ugh, I never signed up for that. That's not my kid. That kid didn't come out of me. And that's so fucked. That's so absolutely fucked. You're the asshole, it's a kid you're rejecting by spreading affection, but you know that already because you're clumsily baiting us. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people are just think that this is bait, and I definitely see why. So, I don't even think we need to waste any more time on it. Obviously, that dude's the asshole, if this isn't just rage bait. Am I the asshole for not buying my girlfriend flowers? This is going to be one of those posts. It's going to be... This guy's either going to be definitely not the asshole or the biggest dick on the planet. There is no in-between. My 33 male girlfriend, 28F, have been together for almost four years, but only began living together just over a year ago. Be before that, we were long distance, and I used to send her flowers for special occasions, and sometimes just because. I often spent a good deal of money on a dozen roses. She was very grateful and would say how she, when she looked at them, it reminded her of me and that made her smile. Huh. It might be worth noting, she never brought me flat. <laughs> but that didn't bother me, as it's a bit of a girly thing. No judgment <laughs> whatsoever, but on... <laughs> then why didn't you just say that? Why? Why, if it does, if you don't care, if you could care less... Then why don't you just say that instead of being like, it's a girly thing. Fellas, is it gay to look at dandelions? Fellas, is it gay for a woman to give you roses? Fellas, is it gay to peer at poppies? The world will never know. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> now the issue is that, now to the issue at hand. 
Since living together, I haven't brought her flowers. Honestly, I hadn't really thought to, because I'm right here, in the same flat, and so she doesn't need a reminder of me. Well, just before Christmas, she brought a Christmas flower... <clears throat> Sorry. Just before Christmas, she brought a Christmas... F she brought a Christmas... I feel so bad when I'm reading Reddit posts, because the minute that there's a typo, my brain short circuits, because I'm like, clearly I must be reading wrong, and then no. That's just not the case. Well, just before Christmas, she bought a Christmas flower arrangement, which I figured was just part of decorating for Christmas. Early January, she threw it out, and in its place appeared another vase of flowers, which I didn't say anything about because she is not working. She's a private school teacher and was off for the Christmas holiday. And I figured she's just bored. But I guess they died and now there's another vase of flowers in its place. And this time it's a dozen roses! Oh my god! I would love flowers. Yeah, flowers are sweet. They're a sweet gift. I asked her what was up with the roses. She said she likes flowers and that I never buy them for her anymore. She's decided to get them herself. I didn't say anything at the time, but this really got me questioning her. I didn't say anything at the time, but this has really got to me questioning her? It seems really passive-aggressive to go out and buy roses for yourself just to make a point. Literally identical to the arrangements I brought for her. And now every time I walk into the kitchen, I am hit with how shitty of a boyfriend she thinks I am. Dude, get help. Honestly and for surely, get help. One, like, yeah. She's clearly throwing signs that, like, well, I don't know, I thought it was really nice when you would bring me flowers. But also, like, just, I just imagine this man sitting there fuming, sitting in his kitchen, fucking Elmer Fudd ass steam blowing out of his ears. Fucking Yosemite Sam stomping on his hat cartoon ass. Just going, I can't believe she bought roses. She must hate me. She must hate me. She bought so many roses. Oh my god. She must think I'm the fucking worst. I don't know, dude. You could just spend... What is it to buy roses? $20? $20? Buy her some roses? Probably less? I mean, I think in this case, it's mostly like the sentiment. You could just go to like 7-Eleven and get her one of those fucking... They got those little bundles. They got, they're like $10. They got like four roses in them. Problem solved. Everyone's happy. Except for you, you miserable fuck. Yeah, I think you're the asshole, but not even for not just getting her flowers, for, like, this whole bit. I realized that I, I don't have the, the, the mouse on. So when I did this, like, nobody could actually see it. Anyway, let's read the edit. I appreciate the comments, even though some of them were hard to swallow. It seems the jury is split. I'm either an unloving asshole because I've overlooked an obvious hint to gift my girlfriend flowers and make her happy, or I'm a self-absorbed asshole and her purchasing flowers isn't anything to do with me. Either way, though, it seems like I'm the asshole. I think it's a little column A, little column B, but more column B, to be honest with you. I think you sitting in the corner fucking seething and pissing yourself because your girlfriend brought herself flowers is wild. Absolutely unhinged behavior, in fact. Let's see what the comments say. Okay, aside from stating that you don't buy them anymore, has she actually complained to you about it? It sounds like she's just keeping up the tradition because she likes it. Not because she's being passive-aggressive. Thank you! I will say not a-hole, but he does have issues. That's fair. I think that's fair. I definitely don't... I don't think he's the asshole. If we go back to the post, right? If we go back to the post, am I the asshole for not buying my girlfriend flowers? No. No, I don't think you're, I don't think you're the asshole for not buying your girlfriend flowers. 
I think it's everything else. You just need to get, you need to talk to somebody, my dude. Just talk to somebody. So, a bit of a relationship advice. It can be easy to get get a bit too settled and stop romancing your partner as a relationship goes on without necessarily realizing it's happening. Just make sure to take stock occasionally of when you did last did a romantic gesture for your partner, and if it's been a while, time to do something. Yeah, yeah. Never stop dating your wife is a golden oldie advice for a reason. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think that's 100%. <laughs> holy projection batman unless your girlfriend is actually complaining about it calm down and let her buy her pretty flowers not everything is about you if you feel like a shitty boyfriend for not getting her flowers anymore then you need to do something about it don't sit there and convince yourself she's being passive aggressive this even when she doesn't complain doesn't guilt him about it Buys her own damn flowers to enjoy. Somehow it's still her fault. The amount of men who lose all romance once they moved in together is only slightly more than the amount of men who project their feelings into their girlfriends when that happens. Project their failings into their girlfriends when that happens. I literally had an ex tell me I made him feel bad for buying myself flowers after he stopped buying them for me. After he'd moved in, even though I bought myself flowers every week in addition to any he bought me, the entire time he'd known me. Yep, some people just want flowers in their house, dude. Some people just like flowers, turns out. Crazy thing, I know. Let's see, if there, are there any contrarian points? Let's, let's see here, let's see. Controversial. <laughs> Even the, not the asshole. But you know she likes receiving flowers, so just buy the damn flowers. Some people are more concerned about being right than being in a happy relationship. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, I think... I think absolutely a lot of people get bogged down in this idea of winning an argument instead of just like... I think people get bogged down in this idea of winning an argument, even when there's not a two-sided argument. Like, this woman is not upset. She... I don't know. I don't know. This woman's not upset. And, like, she did say, I guess, she was like, I miss when you used to buy me flowers. But... Instead of just, you know, losing your fucking shit and pissing your pants about it, you could either, A, buy her some damn flowers, or B, have a conversation with her, be like, hey, that seemed to come off a little passive-aggressive, I need to know if you're really upset that I don't do that anymore. But don't give me flowers. Because that's gay. <laughs> Wait, not the ass. I think... I think a lot of people who, who, like, are saying not the asshole are going based entirely off the post title. Because this one, like, not the asshole. You are projecting what you think her feelings are. But you're not the asshole. Which I get. I get that. We've been over that. Alright. That one's pretty cut and dry. I don't think... I think I was wrong, though. I think I was wrong at the beginning of this when I was like, this is one of those posts where he's either going to be the worst person in the world or completely blameless. <laughs> 